Look at the tea on them. Look at the tea on them. Yeah. The tea, the swirly tea. Oh, I bet that's really nice. It's just me, it? Don't worry about it, Mum. Yeah. No, you just say we said two. Two, Mum and Mike. Hiya guys, Merry Christmas one and all, and Happy Holidays. I have been waiting for this day for a very long time because one of my presents was this. It's come all the way from Chicago in the USA. And it's something that has been delayed and delayed. It was first meant to be released in May time and then it got put back to September. And then it got delayed again and it came, finally came in November, um, released on my birthday, 3rd of, 3rd of November, but it didn't arrive in, into the UK until even two or three weeks after that. So it arrived late November and this is a box set that I've been looking forward to even more so than the, uh, the Chapter House Chronology box set that was released in May this year. This is really special to me and therefore it was one of my Christmas presents and the main Christmas present, I would say. Uh, very fortunate to get this. So it is. Signed by Jeremy Wren. And also another member. Um, so Andrew, Andrew Mara. This is Ariel, who I think is the best they're the best shoegaze band that ever existed. They just got everything you want um, along the whole spectrum of shoegaze music. They kind of fulfill every criteria. You want something harsh and all consuming, they do that. If you want something light and dreamy, ambient, they do that. And this is the Winks and Kisses box set as it's celebrating 20 years since the release of Winks and Kisses, which was a set of four EPs. There you can see, 20th anniversary. And there's a uh, download code for the, uh, the MP3 files. So yeah, it came out, it was recorded between 2003 and 2004. So, I think it officially got released in 2004, but I guess t they're counting 2003 as the uh, 20th anniversary since it was, um, that was when it was actually being re recorded and, and mixed and whatnot. So, yeah, I've got a lot to show you here. Uh, I'm going to open this up in a minute. Um, so, altogether, you've, you've got, uh, there's 40 songs um, because... Basically, they did four, four EPs. Um, the Winks and Kisses comprises of four EPs. Um, I'm not quite sure why they didn't just make like one album and then, because you know, one album and then like another EP. But it's quite um, a unique way of doing things, really. Like coming out your debut release being like four sets of EPs. It's quite a quite a, a funny way to like introduce yourself um but you know i think um i mean you got, well ride did three eps didn't they before releasing nowhere and uh yeah just there's, there's a few examples i guess but um yeah this really is the cream of the crop i mean 
So you've got, um, there's four tracks on these four EPs. So 16, it's 16 um, original tracks. And then you've got um, demos make up the rest of the, of the tracks. Um, you get 10 songs on each EP. So the four, the four standard ones that came that came with it the first time. And now you've got demos, uh, like Jeanette's 1998 demo, Firefly 2001 demo, In Your Room 1998 demo. Um, so a lot of these demos are around like from like 97 until 2001. Um, I think it's a really good, uh, really good um, thing, really having the demos on there. And I've got uh, the sticker with it, which is going to go on my uh, guitar pedal board case, I expect. Um, nice shiny silver there. And then I've got um, the the Phil Trip uh, logo, which is the, the record label that... Uh, uh, that it that issued this uh, QR code on the back, and finally the I've got like a little enamel um, little badge kind of thing. So it's a little badge. Um, Yeah, so I thought that was really cool. Really, really cool design. And um, the booklet, the booklet was a, a real surprise, actually. Um, got some like archival pictures there. Um, but what surprised me is that, well, yeah, of course you get the lyrics of each song. Uh, but what really surprised me was this, the uh, the chord charts. So you can actually play along to this stuff. Um, really great. Um, obviously, yeah, Sharon Apple, what a tune that is. Uh, obviously, Fire, um, Firefly is a big song. Uh, that's got a nice, nice female uh, vocal guest that appears on that song and of course the the absolute magnum opus which is in your room in your room is that is the song that got everybody hooked onto this band i think and definitely definitely 100 percent one of the best shoegaze slash dream pop songs of all time um just really effective and it's just like it's commercial but it's with the kind of massive chorus, but it's also just really well structured song and you're pegiating the do 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 it's just fantastic. In your room, one of the best songs ever and yeah, definitely like absolutely absolutely their magnum opus. So on to what they actually look like. Um, so the four EPs here, uh, they actually make, you can put them together to make, um, to actually make a whole picture. So you can do, so that'll be there. And then, like that it's like that it makes a whole picture that when you put them together <laughs> sorry it's quite hard to do but yeah there you get the gist of it <laughs> um yeah put them together like that look and um makes a whole picture Really cool, and the best part is actually the backsides. 
Um, that, this is the Crackled EP. You get all the different colours, all colour coded. And blue, so red, green, yellow, and blue. So there you got more track listing, more information inside with the picture of a guitar. You got Rickenbacker here. Rickenbacker 3. Is it 330 or 360? I think that's I think it's um that's 330. Um Shirley Temple Tidal Wave is on Crackled. So you see the demos listed underneath. Um, so where's the magnum opus here? Where's in your room is uh, Melted EP, I think. Yeah, and it's got Firefly. Yeah, this is the one with In Your Room In, track four of the Melted EP. Right there, Firefly, right before it, and Sharon Apple and Jeanette. I think this is my favourite EP out of the four. I would say it's this one, the yellow Melted EP, because you've got Jeanette, which is like, Complete noise, like beautiful, like phaser, reverb sound. Um, that's like a um, big wall of sound song. And then you've got Sharon Apple, which has really got really strong melody to it. And then track three, Firefly. Which features Stella Tran on uh, guest vocals and then number four in your room um it was all produced by david galitko original design and photography by wax muse the 2023 box set redesign and layout was by andrew mara who i think is the um is the rhythm rhythm guitar player is um he's the other guitarist so jeremy wren is like the main guy who's sort of been in it forever, uh, the main brains behind the band. And then you've got Andrew Mara. He's the other guitarist, the one who was wearing the um, the stripy uh, Breton, Breton jumper in the um, in that audio tree session, which you need to check that out. Uh, this year's audio tree session by Ariel is like the first kind of, it's the first like, um, worldwide broadcast video that I've seen of Ariel like performing it was uh, quite an epic moment really to see them for the first time actually being featured on a um, being featured on a, a session kind of thing um, it'd be great if they could, they could get onto KXP one time I think KXP would give them a lot more exposure because I they seem to be the the premier the premier guys, I would say, like the most popular station. Uh, but Audio Tree is still really good and they give bands a great sound. So definitely um, gr great to see them on there. Uh, there's also KCRW as well, which would um, be quite good to see them on there as well. That they're, they're another major station. So yeah, um, absolutely delighted with this. This was the one I was probably the most prized possession I was looking forward to all year, really. Um, yeah, it took its time to get here, but it's definitely well worth it. And 
my car's got a CD player, so I'm definitely going to be driving a lot with these tunes going on. And uh, I think the bonus of having the demos with them is um, it's really great. I mean, because like from a production point of view as well, it's really interesting how you can see how these songs developed. Um, I would I quite like a I would like an interview with that David Galitko because uh, I just think the production on this aerial stuff is, it's just, it's just perfect. Like the, you can't really get any higher production than, than what he does on Winks and Kisses. And yeah, the stuff they did after as well was incredible. Like Battle of Sealand in 2007. Then you had like Kid Games in 2010, I think. I think that's when Kid Games came out. Um, and then, obviously, Molten Young Lovers in 2017. Um, and then they, re they re released a single called uh, Cloudburst and Bloom. They, they, had, they released two singles in the 2020s. But still, there's no, um, there's still no um, album that's, uh, that's been, like, uh, announced. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit, a bit surprised by that. Really, I thought, I thought Ariel were gonna come out with a new album, but um, yeah, maybe, maybe like next year, hopefully. But yeah, so yeah, happy Christmas, everybody, and happy New Year. Um, that's kind of the the last kind of major video that I'm gonna make uh, for this year. So yeah, I don't think anything else is gonna crop up in these next few days. So yeah. So take care, guys, and I'll see you all in 2024. Happy holidays.